Are you pondering what I'm pondering? Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello everybody and welcome to Brawl Stars. Today we're pondering our orbs with Saruman of many colors. If this looks like a familiar deck, it's because I have built Orb Ponderers Anonymous before. Because sometimes you just gotta ponder your orb. And who better to ponder an orb with than Saruman? Because he's really just, you know... Pondering that orb. In fact, the orb pondering meme is an image of Saruman pondering the Palatir of Orthanc, both of which are cards in this deck. It's perfect. Every single card in this deck depicts somebody either observing their orb, pondering their orb, or the orb itself. Sometimes these are spheres or globes, but you know, they're round and in 3D space, so that makes them orbs in a sense. This deck is a uh, a little bit of a mess because, you know, everything has to have orbs in it, including the lands. Uh, all of our lands either depict an orb, we got basics depicting orbs or things like orbs, or they are spheres because that is technically a type of land. We have spheres in Arena. They were part of Phyrexia All Will Be One. <laughs> so we're going to take Saruman into the queue. We're going to try to cast two spells in a single turn, steal our opponent's cards, but most importantly, ponder our orbs. Jorail! Okay, Jorail. Jorail is a draw two commander in mono green. When you draw your second card in a turn, you make a kitty cat! Also, you can make your, like, entire creature base really strong if you have a lot of cards in hand. Stone of Eric, why do you show up in, like, every single hand? For reals. <laughs> this is here because it's a sphere. It is. God, I love my spheres. Paper Sanctuary will um, make it so if I target them with a spell or ability, they're, uh, they're creatures. They'll get to draw a card. The Beanstalk, that draws them a card. Gets them a kitty! We could hold up a counter spell. We could bounce something, or we could ramp. I'm gonna go for some ramp. Lady Mirror means I might be able to cast Saruman next turn. Ooh, loose in the park. This is a uh, one of those arena-only cards that I'm not that familiar with. It lets you turn your creature, your land into the creature that's exiled under it. Okay, Master Symmetrist, neat. I'm, I'm not blocking. I am casting Saruman, though. Hello, I'm Saruman of many colors. Please let me cast two spells. I would like it if I could. I have up to seven mana next turn. That could be these two. <gasps> Toski! Hello! So they will get to draw an additional card off this. So they sacrifice a cat to get another cat. Love that for you, Toski. Hmm, this will draw them a card if I bounce um, Toski back into hand, but I think it's worth it. Next, Karn. Ooh, and it looks like we did hit an enchantment. Growing Rights of Itlamok! Okay, cool! Uh, we got Augur Bolas or Transcendent Envoy. I'll, I'll get the uh, Augur Bolas here. And because I want this to transform, I will use Karn and make a Karnstruct. Nice! Look at that! I just made a Gaia's Cradle in my Esper deck. I'm a genius. Big brain super smart. Stealing an Itlamok. I 
wonder what else is on this loose in the park. Are they all four fours? They're not. So strange. A lot of things that like force blocks or no blocks. Azusa lets them play additional lands. Doing that same move with Toski. But we can block all the kitty cats this time. Actually, I think that we can sacrifice Baron and try to make this bigger. Better able to block. Uh, we have a pseudo counter spell and an actual counter spell. I'm going to plus from Karn. Alloy mirror or an island. Probably giving me the island. Look at the top cards of my deck. Glimmer of Genius. Nice. All right. And that will be our second spell that we'll cast this turn. I'll use the Pleiadian Mirror for it. And we get a thing. No, I don't. I don't need one with nothing. Game, I don't need that. Wait, did I? Was there nothing for me to steal? Oh, there were no enchantments, instants, or sorceries. Only artifacts. No, I don't want one with nothing. I'm good. I don't need that. I have plenty of, uh, plenty of mana. I just use it for Chemist's Insight. Perfect time for a juicy one with nothing. Just because it had orbs on it doesn't mean we need to cast it. Oh, where are these guys all coming at me? Oh, because they want to activate Joel Rail. All right, so they have four cards in hand. Which means these are all essentially four fours. Hold up, I'm just drawing. Trying to decide who I'm willing to sacrifice here. These two. Azuzu, you can hit. What's the other card we had here? Alloy Mirror, okay. Zenith Chronicler, I do have multicolored spells. If I could get this to be my second spell, we can cast something really big, like Rishkar's Expertise. Um, so we're gonna start with the Benthic Biomancer. Use up all this mana. Give me that expertise, please. Rich card's expertise, we're gonna draw five. And I can cast one of these for free. I guess orb, orb's great. Now we have a lot of mana to do stuff with. Like, um, I don't know, draw cards? Do I have a maximum hand size? Still I do. Oh gosh, this is this is tricky. Uh, at crown, Quent, or uh, there we go, a mnemonic sphere. Give the benthic biomancer this cool hat, and then pass the turn. And I'll discard uh, like the scoured barons. I'll just put this on top. They can mill it. They can also put it in my hand since I have to discard anyway. I'll drop the monumental facade since that's actually not anything. It's got oil, delicious oil. Hi, Nissa. Um. Yay, I countered her. They draw a second card. I draw some second cards. Toski has to attack. I don't need to draw more cards or I could throw the Biomancer in front of it. All right. Um, we have so many choices here. Let's just plus. Let's see what gets revealed here. It is Saruman the White or an island. They'll give me the island. 
And the highest cost spell I'll be able to cast as my second spell is Blue Sun Zenith. But again, I kind of have drawn a lot of cards already. So we'll bring out the Protege. Blue Sun Zenith uh, for, I guess, five, six, seven. Why not? Oh no, I should wait. Can I cast two spells on their turn? I can. Kesa. Yeah, this, uh, this Illamog is doing work. Oh, I can use Explore! Yay, playing additional lands. This is peak orbing. We're using orbs on so many different levels right now. Talent here of Orthanc. Um, I would really like to draw this, but they're not going to let me. So I'll, I'll mill it and deal five damage to them. Unless... No, they put it in the graveyard. Yeah, we have uh, two sort of counter spells. We have a ton of card draw, which is great with Kesa. Peasant champion. Okay, I don't think I need to counter that. Enchantress's presence. Uh, I'm going to bounce that back into their hand that you get to draw. They make a cat. Yay. Knive just drop a land since we have plenty of them. Kesa likes that. And that is our second spell this turn. But we had nothing to steal. Uh, next turn, we can steal this glorious sunrise as long as my second spell is uh, five mana value or more. Otherwise, if it's three mana value more, we can steal the Dryad. We're looting. We're dootin'. Cool. Hell yeah, Kesa, let's go! I think we could just blue sun zenith for x equals 13. Or 12. Whatever we need it to. But I want it to be my second spell in the turn. Uh, so we're going to minus. Grab Saruman the white. So we can ponder even more orbs. And then... 12. Uh, I'll take the glorious sunrise. And Kesa ends the game. This also would have ended the game, I think. Plus one, plus one, and trample with this group. Ooh, that would have been a lot of damage. But she's going. Look at her go. Nice. <laughs> GG, Jaw Rail. Old Stick Fingers. Now, sometimes Old Stick Fingers is, uh, you know, the type of guy who only has one creature in his deck and then a bunch of reanimation spells to get that one specific creature. But sometimes Old Stick Fingers is a deck that's all about putting good cards in a graveyard and rewarding yourself for them. Lots of cards care about permanents being put into your graveyard, like Myco Tyrant. Some cards can be played from the graveyard. Yeah, you know, like a Woe Strider. There's a lot of great cards that work well with old stick fingers. They sure did mulligan, huh? Well, here's the good news. I do have Containment Priest in my hand. We'll see if they cast this for X equals one. Hmm. What's the one creature? Okay, Cultivator Colossus. Just gonna go ahead and uh, sit here. Let's play the Containment Priest. Sup? What's good? I 
I got an orb and I'm not afraid to use it. I'm sorry, did you want to reanimate creatures? Not on her watch. Galadriel of Lothlorien. Galadriel likes to scry and reveal. And we like to ponder our orbs. We have all three colors for our deck. We've got some nice one cost things. We have a pseudo board wipe. We've got some fixing life gain ramp, whatever you want to call environmental science. We've got stuff. And we even have a little filtering off the hypnotic grifter. For three mana, we can connive on demand, letting us draw and discard. Using this environmental science, we'll probably want to grab something blue. I think a lot of our deck is blue. And I'll swing in for one. First to blood! Eat that, Galadriel! I don't really have much else to do here, so I guess I'll attack with the Hypnotic Grifter. And connive, because we can. I got Transcendent Envoy. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop that. that. That's not doing anything for anyone. I'm gonna bounce this back into my hand. Okay, sure. Fading hope. Not even saving it for when Galadriel's out, so they scry, but to no avail. They did not play Galadriel. I'll try to play Kesa. This could be a counter spell. Kesa is going to gain us life and make our opponent lose life whenever we draw cards. And we've got card draw off the connive, card draw off opt, and card draw off chemister's insight. They were just ramping. Now is it time for Galadriel? And they've got two mana up. Go to combat. Swing in. For some reason, they gave Case of Vigilance in Arena. I, I don't really know why they buffed her, but they did. I'll play that Hypnotic Grifter. It does resolve. And we can just hold the connive, the op, the insight, whichever we want. I don't think it's worth doing the uh, Sphere of Annihilation here. Just a couple of Obscura out here, checking out orbs. It's obscure, right? It sounds right. Galadriel has another scry piece here. Castle Vantress. Woman of the Sea. Ooh, and something has been foretold. As it was foretold. We got ourselves a blue sun zenith. That's quite good with the Kesa. We have a counter spell, Quench. We also have enough mana to play our commander. Um, I feel like he will get countered. I think I might want to just hold this quench here. So I'll do that. Case is honestly doing a lot of work. And I'd love to be able to cast a spell after having Saruman out. Even if I'm casting a one-cost spell, I think I'd be able to recast their Fading Hope. So they growth spiral. And behold the multiverse. They have a lot of mana. And they're not casting anything. I use Chemister's Insight. I'm going to drop the Sphere of Annihilation. Ooh, Time Warp could be helpful. Kesa just out here draining with all this card draw. I'm going to save the Opt, maybe? I'm going to save the Opt. 
play the land, go to combat, attack in, or three. They have eight mana, which is one more than they'd need for a Cyclonic Rift. I'll attempt to do the Time Warp. Memory Drain. I can't stop that with the Quench. And do you reveal a land? Wow. Imagine not revealing. When I play Galadriel, I'm hitting reveal as many turns as I can. All I do is shout reveal at my opponents. Reveal. It's a land! There we go. They got loads of mana. May I opt? The land is fine. I'll go to combat. Swing in with Kesa. You need to stop this. I'm not going to bother with Saruman. I want to see if we can win off the Zenith. So close for it. Alright, uh, we're going to do Divination for now. Three mana, draw two. The cheese grows. Raven lore. They want to uh, draw some. That's cool. I can only right now uh, draw two. <laughs> Kesa MVP right here. All the mana in the world. But what can you do with it? Uh, try and stop me from drawing additional cards in a turn. Yeah, no, uh, I, I need to draw. Excuse me. S excuse me, ma'am. Spell Pierce? Narset prevents me from drawing additional cards in a turn. But I can still attack. They have six mana up. The six of duel takes away abilities. But doesn't take away all of our power. Remember, this can grow from the connive. But we can't draw and discard because Narset. I can still just discard. Do I think that that's safe? I can, I can just straight up discard too. They have four mana up. I do have a quench. No, we're conniving. Uh, I'm going to tap the white here. I'm gonna try and win the game. I can draw one card on their turn. And that's a lethal swing. The connive is worse with Narset out. It's still just good enough to work. GG! The Myco Tyrant. This is a great card because it rewards you for putting permanence in your own graveyard. Deputy of Detention makes this hand almost exactly what I want. But I won't be able to cast it, so we're going to throw it back and see what else we can get. That's really great because uh, it would allow us to exile any number of fungus tokens at the same time. Which sounds pretty good. This is also alright. We've got the Stone of Eric. Uh, if their creatures die, they get exiled, which means that they do not get to descend from those sorts of cards. I could either hold up the quench here, or we could use environmental sciences. I will grab some white mana. Grim Flare. Nice. 
And I think now we're just gonna sit here for a second and I, their commander, and the potential to counter it. Most Saruman of many colors decks are uh, very much control decks. So holding up counter spells is the kind of thing that they will expect from a deck like this. The Grim Flayer deals combat damage, surveils three. One, two, three. That is a lot of permanents in the graveyard. That only makes a difference if their commander actually resolves. So uh, this big wet orb here absorbs the magic. <laughs> We're free to go. We're going to play Teferi Time Raveler next. He and his orb. Bounce you back into hand and draw us a card. But we do be pondering. Prosper's Innkeeper gets them a treasure. And the Grim Flayer's back. Ooh, Cryptolith Rites. Make it so these creatures can tap for mana. I'll plus. This might be draw a card idea. off the Guild Globe. Play the Surgical Bay. And pass the turn. They'll be able to kill Teferi here, and that is fine. The only way I'd be like, getting around that is with the Capture Sphere. It's only a matter of time. Here comes Myco Tyrant. Nothing has been put into their graveyard this turn, though. And I'm not opening up this Stone of Eric because it is beneficial to us against this, uh, against this card. Guild Globe does get me black mana. But I don't want to use it yet. Let's bring out Augur of Bolas. It will look at the top three cards of our deck. Probably just put them to the bottom unless... Ah, oh, that's lucky. Look at that. I actually hit an instant or sorcery off of Augur of Bolas. That's probably happened once before. Amazing. Look at that. You don't understand. Nobody understands. Um, that is black mana, but it's not really what I crave. <gasps> A swamp! Chat's like, I don't, I don't understand. I thought it just, it says, when Augur of Bolas enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library, put them on the bottom of your library. In any order. Nice. Here comes Rankle. Rankle lets them discard, lets them mill. A young goose. Thank you so much for the sub, and thank you for subbing. For three months all at once, I appreciate that. Now remember, Rankle, if you sacrifice a creature, it doesn't go to Graveyard. It goes to Heck. Actually, it goes to Eric. Uh, we we're gonna discard. I guess I'll discard the Seed Core, because it's a functionally useless card in this deck, but it's an orb! Sorry, it's a sphere. Oh, cool. A blocker in the air. They sacrificed their uh, creature. It didn't go to graveyard. I told you, bro. But they also discarded uh, Insidious Roots. Do I have enough mana to double spell? Still, no. So we're going to Time Warp, I think. Ooh, or do I want to do Crime? I kind of like just playing the Saruman. He has a pretty good ward. So he's going to protect himself. He can block. And maybe we have to sacrifice him. I forgot that they, like, have fuel for the Rankle here. Oh, Doomy Boy. That's a fun one. I'll sacrifice Saruman once to prevent them from attacking on the ground. Ooh, that doesn't prevent them from attacking at all, because they're using a Grim Flayer! 
it's uh they're delirious they've got delirium Mr. Tickles? It is Mr. Tickles. I think we should have a Mr. Tickles. Since Saruman will be dying anyway, I'll block the Grim Flare. That gets exiled. We'll move this back to the command zone. What would you like to do? Discard? Draw? All right, we're both drawing. Scheming Fence will prevent um, abilities of something from being activated. I'm tempted to actually use this on one of their creatures to just give me the mana ability from it. Scheming Fence is pretty neat. But we're definitely just going for double Doom Whispers here. Blue Sun's Twilight feels like it's going to be very, very strong. X equals five, exactly. Perfect. And now we are the ones who will spell your doom. It's the Mr. Tickles twins. Call the Death Dweller. They're bringing back Chatterfang with Menace and Death Touch. Now, whenever they make a uh, fungus token, they will also get a squirrel token. Grapple with the past. What creature they could return? Kiteness Crawler. That makes copies, I think, of creatures in their graveyard, which is kind of cool. Oh, it's going to let them play things from their graveyard since they have Descend 8 active. I might have to crack open the stone. They got that Blossoming Tortoise. They have enough mana off the Fungus tokens. They mill and bring back a land. Eeny, meeny, miny, that one. This micro tyrant's gonna go wild this turn. Pass the combat. Oh. That's just a once per turn ability. Neat. And good old micro tyrant does his thing. Uh, I am going to activate this once. What do we got? Um. Does not help. Does not help. Because with this time warp, I might be able to just get lethal in the air. That That's my hope. Permanent Sage, Fairy Basilica. No, neither of those. Share Ascendancy. And Augur. The Augur will do it, I think. Do I have Flying Lethal? Not quite. Right? Oh, wait. Oh, because they can only block once with Rankle. Time warp. I guess it depends on if they have something to cost two mana here. Three mana? Three mana. Tatterfang can sacrifice one squirrel, but sacrificing a squirrel actually gives me more power. So we're swinging for 12 twice. And they can only prevent 3. And 24 minus 3, yeah, that's 21. Yeah, Chatterfang's odd because it actually does buff things. Thorobon's just said that he, he just traded in combat. Oh, wait. There we go. They had enough to completely kill uh, one of these. I didn't realize they had 6 total squirrels, but they did. No, they... That, that was right. I, I was, like, thinking they, they can only block once and that gets taken out. Um, scheming Fence doesn't get me any additional damage, so we're going to use Divination to do a little digging. Got six more damage here. Do that. 
Only have X equals two. Two gets me unearth. Not enough. Uh, Kesa, we don't have much card draw left here. We just have the stone. Exile their graveyard. They had five squirrel tokens and then Chatterfang itself. Majestic Metamorphosis? Great. We are dead either way. We may as well go on in. And die with dignity. Yeah, chat lethal's always what I was thinking. Like, no, we we don't have enough because they can kill it. Mm-hmm. I can kill myself using Doom Whisper. It's the best way to get lethal. No, nah, I'm down with dying to Ormondal. And this is why we don't let chat try to dictate lines because they're not very good at it. GG, Micah Tyrant. Galadriel of Lothlorien again. She sure likes to scry. wonder if this time I'll actually get to play my commander. Who knows? I got this surgical blade, so I'll play it. It comes in tapped. We can hold our quench to try and stop their commander. Hey, wait a minute. That's not scrying. That's surveilling. That doesn't trigger Galadriel of the many scries. Cool. Second color of mana. Uh, I've got my Eager first year in an op tier. Sure. Eager first year in an op. I don't think I need to exile the search for his Kanta yet. Desra Goth, thank you for the eight month resub. Amazon coffee. Got themselves a Spelunkin. Are they putting a land in? Ooh, they don't have an additional land in hand. They mill us? Okay. Got milled two lambs, dross pits, and a plains. We opt. Swamp is fine, since it gets me all my colors. I'm going to use Deputy of Detention to hit Search for his Kanta this turn. Then to Cars Royal. Landfall, get an Elemental. Wonder if they have Risen Reef, my beloved, in their deck. Oh, how I love you, Risen Reef. I'm just gonna do this now. Trying to draw cards, get some lands. Ooh, a Stone of Eric! Go get him, kids. Yep. It's an orb, all right. If I can get this chromatic orrery into play, I think it'll give me my best chances of being able to double spell with Saruman. But I could also just, like, play Saruman this turn. So I will. Killing Galadriel. Yeah, it's fun, but they can have this. Point exploration. Bro, what are we exploring? Scry to draw a card and I can put an additional land into play. Hopefully we can get this deputy back and just exile all of the elementals. 
Black Sun's Twilight does give us a potential reanimation if we have six mana for it. That's a lot of lands. If we get an untapped land next turn, we could Orrery into Glimmer. That sounds really fun. And steal, I don't know, explore from their graveyard. Are you sure? No, oh, attack in! You know you want to. All right, since we don't have it, I'll just use Glimmer of Genius. Genius. Uh, it's the worst land, but the worst land is still a land. I'll take it. And I'll use it for some divination. And what can we steal? <laughs> Birthday escape, joint exploration, or explore? Um, I think I'll go for just regular old explore since I have an extra land in hand. Eager first year getting huge over here. Oof. Actually, I got enough for you, so Benthic Biomancer. And this will trade with an elemental on either side, so go for it, Eager first year. He's eager to make some friends. Or to get bounced back into my hands. Fine. Okay. I hope you attack me so I can kill my deputy of detention and then reanimate it and exile all your elementals. Will that drive you elemental? Hold up, is this lethal? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, it's not lethal yet. I know, a bit of a keyword yet there, but still. We milled them, so this will flip faster. Ooh, I wonder... <sighs> no, I don't think there's any way for me to recast that. Not without waiting, like, four turns. Dramatic Orrery. Get rid of all the elementals. Get myself a nice happy little blocker. Which one? You? You're cute. I decided if I want to gain the life or guest uh, two little spells here. Just gain a life. Play the stone again. Nah, Biomancer. Perfect. Alright, we've exiled all the little elementals. This will flip over. Assuming they want to. I think they probably do. They scry and reveal... Not a land. Okay. It's Reclamation Sage. No! My cool rock! Oh, uh, no! I wanted to steal your river's review. I mean, it wasn't going to do that much, but still. It would have been cool. As Kanta looks and actually does find a spell, finds Behold the Multiverse. Multiverse? Verse. I'm great at this. Reading hard. Next turn, we got some goodies we can do here. I'll trade these away. Are they going to protect Galadriel? It's fine with me. Oh, they're protecting Emoti. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough for the Black Sun's Twilight. For X equals five. 
And I do. Might want to hit a Modi, like, early to stop her from potentially getting a Cascade trigger. But I want to wait until they've played all their lands for the turn. X equals five. We're going to kill a Modi. They already used up the uh, fancy land. We're gonna grab that Deputy of Detention, exile the Elementals, and block that Reclamation Sage. We're stabilizing! This can get them extra turns. We'll have a counter spell ready soon, though. Exiling their graveyard has the downside of we can't cast those spells, but has the upside of they can't either. Do you have anything for X equals one? I think they do. They have the bounce. Yeah, fading hope off for they escape. Um... I'll opt. That hurts. It's also just a bad card. It'd be kind of nice for like a bigger spell for Saruman, but they were better than that. All right, pass the turn. Got a land up there. No, they got a Tatiova. That's worth countering. Gotta take away that card draw potential. Let's see if we can get, like, a card draw spell. So, like, this was a card draw spell. And we do gain some life off Kesa. Um, but this doesn't technically draw the cards. It just puts them into hand. I figured it was just like, ugh, too risky. Haka! Uh oh, Haka can fly. And scry. They have protection from the one ring. Sadly, we can't put the one ring in our deck. Ring, not an orb. I'm going to use Surgical Bay to draw a card. We got Pondering Mage. It's pretty good for pondering orbs. Okay, come on, auto tap or tap this thing. I'm taking that out of the deck. Uh, for three or less, it gets me Fading Hope. Like, I can Fading Hope Haka back into their hand. I think we're going to shuffle. Ugh, it was a land! Alright, no. You are being tapped! Oh no, I can't target them. I'll target me. That's fine. I don't need my graveyard. Hey, look! Kill cool. I get milled. Uh, we got the Fading Hope. We boop the Haka back into hand. We scry, it's not what we want. And then we'll draw a card. Cool. Protégé will give us some filtering soon. Two mana loot. I wonder if they'll just play the front side. Alrond, name, whatever they have lots of in their deck. Yeah, their card advantage is going nuts, though! I do love Ponder on a stick. Ooh. 
lot of elementals. Listen, if I wasn't gonna die to your bird, I would have put this back into my hand. Exile all these again. Thank you, Kesa, for getting me small amounts of life. Uh oh. They're getting tempted by the ring. Their ring bearer is not Galadriel, which means she is going to scry. Ooh, a treasure map. They've gone through, like, so many more cards than we have. They're also going to take an extra turn. Unfortunately, that means we're dead. Uh, they are able to take this extra turn, attack me with everything. We're going to hit them with a good game. They take another turn, and then they can take me out. All I have to do is attack. Thank you for respecting my time. And dealing that lethal damage. GG, Galadriel. Oh yeah, Jaws at the Conclave. This is, this is a really scary commander it's, uh, it's very strong, very hard to kill, and it works really well with elves, which ramp quickly. Uh, we have an okay hand here. We have some removal, we have some card draw, and we have a way to exile a card from their hand. Gotta have uh, PBDDR and his big old floating orb. These are pretty. These are like the uh, Azus of Fashion sleeves, I think. Very nice. Using Cabaretti Courtyard. Get a forest, is my guess. So they get to pick. What land do you want to start? Any basic from among these three. With all the colors in their deck, too. They are taking a very long time to decide. Did you forget to put basics in your deck? No, okay. So they went for a plane. They were just, I think, trying to make up their mind. I'll bring out the Mnemonic Sphere. Didn't play anything that turn. Spellbinder, show me their secrets. Our Beast Whisperer, Rejuvenator, Wildborn Preserver, Gala Greeters. They do have a land, so even if I hit one of these, I'd be able to hit another. Uh, I am going to exile the one that costs three mana, Elvis Rejuvenator. They have two different choices for two mana, but one of them is one that we can hopefully respond to before they get value out of it using this uh, Black Sun's Twilight. X equals one. And I'm just going to crack this open to draw cards. Oh, well, that's enough to get them to leave. Bye, Boya. Whoa, someone's got a ley line. Nice. What's the name of the deck? Orb Ponder is Anonymous. You even have the spirit coming out of the orb on this token. This card, by the way, is so hard to get to actually do anything. What are we doing, ass assin? That's a cat. Play of Trotta will block. 
I'll draw a card. This is pretty much an orb. Orb or orb? That's what it says on the page, isn't it, Jorge? Or George. You could be either, I guess. No, they will see they will see the orb gameplay. <laughs> Just asking. You need confirmation of the publicly available information. I don't have anything I can really choose that has activated abilities. Um Bam. Orb. Incredible work. Augur of Bolus goes to the bottom. From Springfield? Ah, home of the greatest band of all time. Stained. <laughs> and the Basketball Hall of Fame. It's been a while since I pondered my high orb. No. I don't know you, dude. <laughs> You're not doing a good job selling yourself here. I literally can't block it. Um, let's double block uh, you. Thanks, Wapox. Sorry, people are weirdos. We got to know them. They did not make a very good first impression. Hey, can I have a land, actually? Thank you. Okay, so we can, um... We're gonna, we're gonna cast this for two. Okay, and now we have a three drop. Yes! Eric, go. Real millions. Go get him, Eric. I think Eric's got a nice orb. Wow. Alright, I have a four drop. And I can make this five by stealing a Trotta. doing amazingly, by the way, and I can't believe we're actually triggering the Obscura Ascendancy. Oh, nice. Okay, um, Capture Sphere. That's also, um, four. 
If I had one more man, I would go for Saruman, but I don't. What's in exile right now? With, with a sliver? Silver counter? For sure. Okay, we're just gonna plus again. Alright, I'm gonna play the Mirror Convert and hold Capture Sphere. Mother, may I? Thank you. Fewer cards in hand, the number of basic land types among lands you control. Oh, I have too many cards in hand. Oh, it's Chip! I love Chip! Alright, they tapped out, so I'm going to make a Trotta super sideways and make another spirit. Chip Skylark, the shiny teeth, and me! Shiny teeth, shiny teeth. Uh, if I cast something that's X equals 5, or like 5 on this, spirits will get plus 3 plus 3. It is a Pokeball. Pokeball, go! Go! Do I steal the extremely tapped Atrata? I think we steal Chip. Or maybe we steal back one of our face down cards. Oh, I don't have enough mana for it. But they, they, they would have to languish before this resolves. No, I was gonna steal that. God damn it. I can still steal it. I'll steal a Trotta. Alright. One, two, three. That is a five cost spell. Why did you leave Mycosynth Gardens up? Bro, I needed the Grifter mana. <laughs> Alright, so they're languishing in response. Uh... Try to draw land. Everybody dies. Nice! We are so getting here. <gasps> Wait, that could that could actually get me lethal. All that glitters. We have one, two, three. We can make another off this. I might even be able to double spell. <gasps> I can double spell. We could do the Saruman thing. Oh my gosh, this is the perfect game of Saruman and all of his. Whoa! All oh right, stolen cards. Uh, they, they only have some mana. Fine, they only have five. Yeah, I- what, No, I have a six cost right here! I have Saruman! Me! My orbs! Pondered! Let me just Ponderosa over here. They're probably like, wow, why are all the cards I stole so shitty? <laughs> Annihilation for X equals one. Okay. Um, a land. Making sure it's holding up white mana. It is good. Saruman. Construct. Glitter. There's nothing to steal. Doesn't matter. 10 damage. Let's go! Orbs pondered! 
and we're never gonna get a game that good again. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars. It was a very normal one, right? Playing a high powered, super consistent deck as always. Well, if by consistent, I mean Stone of Eric showed up a lot. I don't know how many of the Stone of Eric games made it into the video, but this card did show up in so many of my matches. Uh, it was fun. We got to ponder our orbs and play a bunch of great games of magic. All, all things considered, uh, this deck performed okay. All things considered, because, you know, it's just a bunch of cards that have people, orbs, and people just uh, pondering their orbs on them. I hope this was like an art showcase for you. Fun fact, if you go to Scryfall and you search art colon orb, you'll find a lot of these cards because they all depict orbs or globes or spheres or suns. I, I'll say that they all count. If you're looking for the deck list for some weird reason, you can find it in the description of the video. If you'd like to suggest a deck for me to brew that's slightly more serious than this one, please leave a comment, especially if you have a Thunder Junction commander that you'd like me to get ahead of the jump on, because there will actually be a Thunder Junction early access event. So I will have an opportunity to play around with the cards a little bit early, as long as I can find somebody to direct challenge with. Thank you so much for watching this very serious video, and have a happy April Fool's Day.